And Mr. Cohen, you wrote this statement yourself? Uh, yes, but I had some help from the guys who wrote Green Book. The latest installment of SNL capitalized on Michael Cohen's explosive testimony before the House Committee on Oversight and Reform, with Ben Stiller reprising his guest role as Trump's former fixer and Bill Hader making a cameo as Congressman Jim Jordan. Stiller, as Cohen, thanked the committee for inviting him to correct the record under oath before acknowledging... Of course, the first time I testified was also under oath. <laughs> but this time, I, like, really mean it. The sketch touched on the fact that during Cohen's real-life testimony, he called the president a con man, a racist, and a cheat. Mr. Trump is a racist. <laughs> wow, I thought that would be a bigger reaction. Meanwhile, Hader appeared as an exasperated Jim Jordan, calling Stillers Cohen a lying piece of human trash and saying he'd never even heard of Cohen, which elicited this very original response. Your mother has. <laughs> Next up, former SNL head writer John Mulaney took to the stage to host the long-running sketch series for the second time. The comedian regaled the audience with a story about the time his wife, who was pushing the couple's French bulldog in a stroller at the time, ran into Woody Allen and Sunyi Previn on a New York street corner. The four of them stare at each other, and then they all kind of nod, as if to say, none of this is right, and then they went their separate ways. And Mulaney also remarked on how odd it is that New York passengers are explicitly told not to murder their taxi drivers. That doesn't happen in any other industry. It's not like at restaurants, they're like, uh, your server Michael will be right over. Oh, by the way, <laughs> killing a waiter in the state of New York is a class A felony. I'll get you some bread. Later in the show, actor Jussie Smollett got the SNL treatment in a Shark Tank sketch called Shark Tank Legal Edition, in which controversial lawyers listened to pitches from embattled celebrities asking them to take on their cases. Cast member Chris Redd played Smollett, who was arrested for allegedly falsifying a police report for his own assault, telling the Sharks that he had just been attacked outside by President Donald Trump himself. Jesse, is that true? Are there cameras outside? Yes. Then no, it is not. <laughs> and Pete Davidson, who has recently been doing comedy shows with Mulaney, appeared with the stand-up in a musical sketch set in a New York City bodega as a sequel to Mulaney's fan favorite, Dinah Lobster. In the bit, Davidson played a bodega patron who asked to use the bathroom, prompting a musical routine featuring Kenan Thompson as a bodega cat. All the sticky stuff is fluid. Want to know for sure? Put a black light to it. <laughs> To watch much more from the latest episode of SNL, including the Cut for Time sketch featuring Cecily Strong as Senator Dianne Feinstein debating climate change with a group of San Francisco Bay Area students, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.